Hello guys and welcome back to another continuation of the assembly joint videos inside of Autodesk Inventor. So previously we looked at how to apply the slider joint for this bolt across the slot. So for this video we're going to be talking about the cylindrical joint. right? So we are going to apply that cylindrical joint to this shaft and the base component here. Right? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Again, we want to start off by using a joint. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and select that cylindrical joint, right? In this case, it doesn't really matter what you select, right? So we select this face. We really don't have to try and find the center of the sleeve here. We can click on the edge if we want. Reason being is because a cylindrical joint, if you take a look at what it's allowing this component to do, it's allowing it to rotate about the center axis and also slide through that sleeve, right? Through the axis of the sleeve, which is what we want. Now, a lot of people have questioned this and, and asked, why can't you use the slider joint instead, right? Which the slider joint only limits the component to one direction. So reason for that is uh, we don't know exactly where this is going to line up, right? I mean, obviously we can do a little bit of sketch work and figure that out, but why not let the software do the work for us, right? So we already looked at the rotational constraint and the reason why I'm bringing up the rotational constraint again is because we want to let these two components rotate along that pin, right? So again, let's go ahead and select the rotational constraint. And we want the center of this component, right? So make sure that you have the selection enabled. Again, if you missed that first video, you can hold control through the hole and it locks these glyph points in place, right? So in this case, I want the center of this to match up with the center of this pin. So notice that it does give you this kind of crazy animation, right? Uh, a lot of people might freak out and think, well, that's not exactly what I want. But keep in mind that we still have that joint working in the, the back end over here, right, for the base. So just select OK and it, everything goes back into place. Let's just verify that by pulling on the lever, making sure that it works properly. And it does, right? So again, we selected the rotational constraint so that it was able to rotate along that pin and also the cylindrical joint so that the shaft was free to move along the sleeve and it just made life a lot easier for us when it came to adding this other joint in the back. Right? So that's been working with the cylindrical joint inside of Autodesk Inventor. Hope that helped. 